This is my friend Will's car, and it's been abandoned under a tree for three years. Now with this new channel, Will hasn't had time to fix the car yet. So today, I'm gonna steal it, bring him to the unit, and force him to fix it. X5 collected from its temporary storage location, I got the car back to the unit, ready to surprise Will. We told Will to meet us at 9.30, but in actual fact, Ben and I got here at nine this morning and set his car up. Ben, quick hide, he's coming. Good morning. Whose car's this, Will? That is my car. Why, why is the it? question is, that's not where I left it. Well, uh, what? Let's work on it today. I thought we were doing 911 stuff today. Yeah, no, not today. We need to get a mic on you so that you can explain to the lovely people why there's a car here. Firstly, should probably give you those back. Those are your keys. The plan was to get this up and running to be your daily, right? So you could drive to and from the unit. Yeah, my clear gearbox got a big old hole in that. Right. Yeah, so not ideal. So this car needs to work now. So this was my granddad's car. Um, about three years ago, he decided to just leave it in the field. The photo I saw when you sent me this months ago, oh, it looked bad. Oh boy, you're rough. No MOT. I don't know where the V5 is. He runs in limp mode. Oh, I know that. When I put it up on the trailer, it was worse than I was expecting. Worried that I'd bitten off more than I could chew, I decided we should take a closer look at the car. This is a BMW X5. With what engine? The 3 litre diesel M57, the same as our Range Rover tow car. It's been sat in a soggy and moist field, so the mm. paintwork is... I don't remember them doing a matte paint on this No, it's also sort of this like camo dust yeah, effect. Yeah, it's quite interesting. It was also under a tree. Oh, nice. So yeah. the sap is now so in the paint. So the sap and anything that could have fallen out of the tree has fallen out of the tree. Animals. What was here, which there'll be, there'll be videos that I've got of this, we had to clear this out just to move it. The headlights have all misted up and gone all hazy. Private plate, does Private that come plate. with it? Hope so. I'm keeping it. Oh, okay. So what does this need doing? What needs to happen to this car to go on the road? There is a gearbox fault. It's nothing too sinister. It's just a major electrical fault that puts it in limp mode and starts it off in third gear. Oh, that's why it was hard to get on the trailer. Yeah. I don't remember opening the sunroof. Yep, that's been open for three years. Under a tree, in a soggy field. This is some of the worst of it. Look at the step. It's become its own ecosystem. It is a shelf for shit. <laughs> We've got moss growing in places. The mirrors have failed. I'll be honest, when I first thought this, like, haha, we'll go get Will's car, it'll be a quick video. This is turning into not a quick video. I think there was a number of issues with this car. There was a gearbox fault, lots of things don't work. Yeah. So I bought wheels. <laughs> and if you don't know, get to know. Because they are the 4.8 IS Le Mans or wheels. Le Mans wheels, basically. And they're massive. What's the tire size on the rear? The rear ones are a 315. And for reference, that is over a foot of tire. That's more than my head. Lots of insects and leaves. I don't think I've ever seen that many spider webs in a car before. And I don't, I don't like spiders. When I brought this into this unit, I had it up against the sofa and this morning I decided to push it forward. Soggy field. That's not filling me with confidence, the fact that there's rust that's just falling off it. Also, I thought there was a little patch of what may appear to be brake fluid somewhere. Is it, oh, yep, here yep. it is, <laughs> found it. <laughs> Sorry, let me just Michael Jackson out of this shot. Edwin then noticed a relic on the back seats. Oh, the orange juice. Oh, actually, this orange juice is, is, is here for a reason. It dates the car. October 2021, that's when it went out of date. <laughs> Why did your granddad put orange juice in this car and go, you know what I'm gonna do next? Park it at the field. <laughs> oh. It's not moving, is it? That's not moving. I think that's... It's, it's now orange again. It's now just an orange in there. The last thing we wanted to do was open the carton and release the old gone off orange juice into the atmosphere. But curiosity got the better of us. <laughs> Yeah, I still at the first one. Don't move the glass. I think that's fine. That's apocalypse juice. Come on, that's, that's at least a tenner to taste that, Ben. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Before we carry on with the video, we just want to tell you about our sponsor, Car Vertical. Every day, hundreds of cars get crashed and some of them get repaired and put back on the road in an attempt to hide that dodgy past. With a Car Vertical report though, you can find out that history. Did you just walk in the background? <laughs> All you need to do is enter your reg number or your VIN and Car Vertical will tell you if that car has been crashed, clocked or stolen. And our Wheels X5 here might look like it's been written off, but it hasn't. It's got green ticks for odometer, finance and damage, so he's all good. Unfortunately for this F10 M5, it hasn't been so lucky because it's got a yellow warning for damage 
And if you scroll down, you can see photos of that damage and it has had a nasty front end smash. And the oil cooler is actually down there. So that is not gonna be a pleasant job at all. Might have broken the engine, who knows? It's also got some damage on the rear as well. So God knows what that's gonna cost you. That's a bumper, that's a light. There's also duct tape on it. So if you see this car come up for sale in pristine condition with a car vertical report, you can see this dodgy past. So the next time you're buying a car, van, motorbike, or anything in between, make sure that you run a car vertical check to make sure that the price you pay for it matches its history. And as an added bonus, Car Vertical have offered you guys 20% off when you use code TDC. Now that we'd taken the old juice to a nuclear waste disposal site, we had a look in the boot at what animals had been living in this abandoned X5. Alvin and the boys have been in there, and they've been pissing, shitting, and reproducing in my car. They really have. If you're a squirrel, this is like a high rise. <laughs> Have you seen Steve? He lives under the bonnet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a good pad. Oh, I'm, pad, I'm yeah. down in the battery. There's no yeah. windows down I'm there. I'm in a new build down yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst of it is visual, but maybe not. Hotel Roden officially closed for business. We went to take a look inside, but that turned out to be harder than we thought. Probably locked it. That's what I've done. Nope. Okay, great. This is a great car. I thought it was a spider, I was about to, I just shit my pants. Now that might help. Now that, ladies and gents, is liquid M57. That is. Check brake fluid. Uh, also, why is the 4x4 light on as well? That wasn't on when I yeah. moved it. When you go from park into drive, you get, ooh, hello. It's a bit jerky. Yeah, it's a bit jerky. This is a bit jerky, but it does drive, but it pulls away in what I think is third. Well, I think what we need to do is go and order some parts and come back in a few days and make a start on this thing. Yes. Ah, ow. Yeah, that's how you get out of the next five. Ah. So the door wasn't working yesterday. What has happened is the cable has come away from the handle. So when I pull it, this door should open. Could you describe for the viewers, please, the smell? Old and mistreated pond. Not the pond you might have in your back garden where you've got like a couple of koi in there or whatever, but this is pond, bit of green shit on it. Probably like a dead duck in it and a trolley. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, you know when people say freshly mown grass? Oh yeah. This was this is unfreshly mown grass. I can only describe the inside of this car as dark green in smell. <laughs> Door finally open. The first thing I wanted to do was read the car's fault codes. So that error we've got on there is something to do with communication in the transmission, and that is the problem I'm having. If I put it in park reverse neutral drive, I don't get anything, it doesn't come up on the dashboard, and the car starts in third. So I'm gonna clear it, do a gearbox reset, and then go from there. The reset didn't seem to fix the gearbox issue at all, so we were worried that there were deeper problems. Before we figured that out, we decided that our next job should be to make the interior a somewhat safe place to be in, so we gave it a proper deep clean. Mmm, coffee? Yes, please. Sure, there's plenty more where that came from. Right, cleaning of the interior is done. We'll do the outside later, but have a look. Compared to what it was before, this is a big improvement. I'd say it smells like your top colour right now. Yeah, it's, or, it's, it's fading. Or a little like light blue. Like yeah, fresh. Fresh, fresh. Light blue. Now that the interior was no longer dangerous to be in and around, we got the car up in the air to see what three years in a field had done to the underside. We put this car on this lift, how long would you say, two minutes ago? Yeah. Uh, look at the pile of brake fluid. It's, it's actually actively dripping, apparently. The brake fluid leak needed some further investigation, so we decided to take the wheel off and take a closer look. This now, is I can guarantee I undo that last one and that wheel stays exactly where it is. All right. You can throw something in. Oh, bitch, bastard, bastard, bitch. Oh my God. I, I'm, I'm, I'm touching things and they're just crumbling in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Comment below what you think Will's joke was. It was when you <laughs> So that is a brake line, or it was a brake line, and now it's just pissing brake fluid out of it. It's in the one bit that's protected as well. It's metal. They, they made a little rot box for it. <laughs> this bit, fine. The bit with the cover, buggered. You know, credit to the box, right in the middle, nothing. BMW, you, you, you saved him. He's alive because of you, and you should be proud of that. 
if you shut that door, I will kill you. The underside was worryingly crusty, but we were praying it wouldn't be anything that would keep the X5 off the road any longer. The car was, however, begging for a full service, so we made that our next job. So the X5 needed quite a few bits. More than we were thinking. Yeah, quite a few. But luckily, Fabi Bilstein have come in clutch with a care package of OE matching quality parts for the X5. Yes. We have got brake discs, brake pads, brake lines. We've got absolutely everything we need to get it back on the road. Fevy's going to get pretty sick of us calling up and saying, can we have more parts, please? But for now, let's get these installed. Oil change first? I think so. Fine, let's, uh, let's get that thing cracked then. All right, we're off to a great start. Where would you like the pan? Wherever it goes. How long it... <laughs> Why does it come out like that? <laughs> also, look at that oil, man. That's good quality oil. We like that sort of oil. No way! <laughs> <laughs> show Ben that, show Ben up your sleeve. Look, like a, ma like a magician. <laughs> oh no, that's just dripped on my head. Oh my God, Will, can I please clean some of this? You actually, genuinely, you have permission to clean. This is, please, can we have a look here, Ben? What you haven't seen here is the rat poo, or squirrel, or gerbil. You've got five minutes of cleaning. Already on it, boss. Much better. Yep. Worth the four and a half minutes you spent on it. Maybe some oil now for your, for your troubles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that so tight? I've got something very important to do. Hello. Yeah, um, just had a really quick question for you, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect, lovely, thank you. Uh, and also, just while we're here, just do you want to check that one? Lovely. Awesome. Thank you very much. Don't worry, speak to you. Have a good one. It's good to have a specialist. It's check good it out. to, yeah. I mean, most people wouldn't go that far. Usually you'd have to trailer it to a specialist, whereas that's just a quick video call. Engine's healthy, mate. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> How much is in there? Five. Okay. <laughs> it's ten. <laughs> Six. Oh. <laughs> that is the, that is the, the you know the fish? The, oh. <laughs> I'm a sniper with the oil. I'm trained. <laughs> On this occasion, is it just about, you're right? just a perfect. Oil done, we went to replace the filters, which immediately showed us what kind of wildlife had been living inside the car during its three year sleep. I believe I found a nest of uh, one of your friends. That is a 50 cal squirrel or something. <laughs> Shit! Excuse me, excuse yeah. me, excuse me. How quickly did he go through that filter? If that squirrel's in there, buddy, you're about to get sucked off. <laughs> M57 air filters, the most interesting. We're just doing so much of it. Oh. Wow, hell! Oh, I'm gonna clean so much of this. Oh, there's bloody acorns in there. Whoa! Whoa! That's just f***ing up there, filter, but, you know, we are moving at the end of it. Oh. They're going to have to be really big and strong. We got the engine bay back together and moved on to replacing the old, ruined brake line and the crusty discs and pads. There she goes. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, that's a big, that's oh, quite a big yeah. spider. Look Why, at look guy. at him spitting venom and shit. I love Harry Potter. He's in your shock forever. I swear to God, we will lose a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually panicking. Oh, he's, he's getting upset that you're near him. No, I don't want to touch anything else. There we go. Wow, that dust shield has seen days that are better. One dust shield. Mmm. That's a nice looking disc. Disc. It really matches the rest of the vibe that's going on with this car. You know, brand new, nice Febby parts, and then that. The rest just follow suit shortly after this. Yeah, that's the noise you want your front wheel bearing to make. 
The new brakes were now in, so we parked the X5 outside and waited for parts to arrive. If we're being honest, we were so busy working on other projects that we had no time to work on the sorry looking X5. However, we really did want to get the X5 back up and running, so we decided to make it our after work project. Will would work on the car early in the morning before work and late into the night after work, come rain or shine. The time right now is 10 to eight in the evening. Everybody else in the unit has left. And yet, a familiar sight is starting to occur in the evenings. That's William standing at the bonnet of his X5. Let's go and investigate. How many times have you been out here at the car park working on this car? That many times. <laughs> Second question, how pleased are you that I brought this car here? It could have stayed in the field and it would have just died. It would have just died. I would have gone to it one day and gone dead. The car still had a gearbox fault and I was running out of ideas. The reset we tried didn't work, so we thought we'd pull it into the unit and have a closer look. But unfortunately, there was another big issue. We are here today because I went to start it and nothing happened. Squirt is a brake cleaner on it and it said, nah, you're all right, mate. So we think it's possibly to do with the glow plug, well, more to do with the glow plug module. Under the intake manifold. Something I'd planned to do, but I'd plan to do it as preventative maintenance. Also, plan to perhaps do it on a lift in a nice heated unit with all your tools yeah, next to you. you know, not with light, dying light. That is the tool, mate. Look at me. You ever played fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I felt a little bad for Will working outside in the soon-to-be dark car park, so I decided to be his assistant and do some shuttle runs to and from the unit. Have you got a ten? Uh, of course. Here, take that. There you go. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. Have a good one. At that point, it was time to call it a night. But the next day, as I was spending my lunch break working on the car, disaster struck. Hello, mate. Yeah, mate, yeah. What's happened? Yeah, so two glow plugs coming out absolutely fine. Get to the third one. Thought, oh, that's starting to go. Did go. When it snaps off, which it is, it is about to do or has done, um, it's in the head and then you need to take the head off and do all that stuff. And I'll be real with you, this car ain't worth that work. I, I think I'm done with the X5. The final nail on the coffin has, has just happened. Literally last night, we were here to whatever time it was, won't start, so I thought, let's change the glow plugs and the module. Two came out, fine. The third one, snapped in the head. Yes, I can fix that, we can fix that, but this is my personal car. I don't wanna just keep throwing money at this. Also, it needs to be my daily. I wanna use this at some point soon, and it still needs all of the suspension arms doing, because it's all rusty. It still has a gearbox fault that I have no idea what it is. Might be simple, might need a whole gearbox, have no idea. It needs lights, it needs badges, it needs so many small things. So I'm gonna sell it. I don't want to sell it, but what else am I gonna do? So these two are fine, and they're ready to come out. And this one here is f so to fix this, it's probably going to be half a day to a day of us just messing about with it, which we don't have time for. It would mean pulling out the glow plug with the force of a thousand suns just to get it out. Not easy to do. And then we need to drill out the thread and then re-tap it, which all sounds easy, but it won't be easy to do. And this car at the moment, it hasn't earned that. It hasn't earned that at all. I actually didn't know what to do and I needed a daily. So I took to the internet to assess my options and came back a few days later with a solution. It's done, it's finished. Absolutely looking amazing. It's even got different wheels. We've sorted the paint out. I've never seen that car in my life before. Never seen him before. And also he's impersonating me because look, this is the same car. But this will be my new daily now. Sorry, this is my daily now, it's fixed. Um, everything's sorted. Um, and yeah, look at it. I mean, what a transformation. I'm over the moon with this. I've never seen a transformation like it. Okay, so yes. That is the car we were meant to be fixing up. And yes, I have given up on it, which I know is terrible, but this needs to be my daily. And I've really, really always wanted one of those. Obviously my granddad had one, great, thanks. But my dad also had one of these. So I've just, I just want it and I want it to work and it needs to be my daily. And now th this is it, it's working, functioning. And that one, maybe it will live on, maybe it won't. I don't know, 
We'll see. I am taking this because I want its life to live on in this and hopefully not bring any of its bad luck as well. So it is actually the same car. It's an X5, it's a Sport. It's got the same engine, but it's got better wheels. The color, I think I actually prefer the blue color, but sterling gray is nice as well. It's basically the same, but functioning. So obviously you did see earlier in the video, I spent 300 pounds on those exact wheels for that car, but now I've got them. The wheels on those are pretty knackered and the tires are knackered as well. And those rears, they're pretty big and that's gonna be expensive. So that I need to sort. I have stolen a few bits from it, nothing major. The engine and stuff's still there, but I have taken the grills, as you may be able to see. You might see a missing roof rail there. Don't know where that is. The new owner, whoever he may be, he might, he, he, he was pissed about that. I hate black grills. So yes, I did sell it to Taylor in the end. So I'm hoping that isn't gonna go to the scrap heap just yet. And you may see that back on the road very, very soon. I think I should go and show Edwin this because I think he might quite like it. I'll get him. You'll get him. Right? I'll get him for you, uh, William. Right. Go on. Will is currently outside explaining his new car purchase, but what he doesn't know, so right at the beginning when we took the wheels out the back of his car, we put them over in that corner under a blanket. And I then secretly went and swapped them with a pair of wheels I have and took these ones to Smart Rims to get redone, repowder coded. There's a nice little, congratulations, your car's back on the road, finishing touch. These things are nice. They're in hyper silver, which is a really nice color for BMW wheels, and they look immaculate. Not only that, but Tire Streets have sent us brand new Accelerate tires as a finishing touch on top of the finishing touch, and he's already got these wheels on his new car, but they're curbed and he needs new tires, so this will still be a nice little upgrade for his car. So I think we roll it out to him and reveal. These look very good. I've brought back your old wheels, except guess what, psych. Wow. <laughs> so I took your wheels to Smart Rooms to get them to redo it as a final finishing touch for the old car. And then you bought a car that has them already. Yeah, that's a problem. But, but hey, look how much better how they look. look. At how much nicer they are. And not only that, Tire Street sends some Acceler Iotas. So you've got new tires as well. And your favorite, the old spinny oh, floating. It's cap. cheesy, but I like that. I found them in the car. I assume you were going to do them. I bought them for that because yeah. that's obviously what you needed. Oh man, they're going to look so good. Look at that. It looks dead and dull now compared to that. It's also the best case scenario for that car because we were talking about crushing it. I, I was at such a point with that car, I just wanted it dead and I don't care. I wanted to see it dead. As always, thank you very much to Smart Rims. If you ever need wheels doing, hit them up. This is the sort of finish they come out looking. Compared to that, they look fantastic. Hit the link in the description if you want to check them out and let's get these on, these old girls. On the brakes. So taking these off, we thought, let's have a look at what's on the inside of these. And we've got made in China and then there, not OEM. So you're swapping out some replica wheels for some real ones. So buying those was a good idea. It's a great right idea. Along. Congratulations on a stunning automobile. Really, you know, it's the crown jewel of your collection. Thanks, Edwin. Thoughts? I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a bit shit. Oh. But you know me, I like oh. a bit of shit. I what is like the plan? What's going to happen with this? Uh, so remove the mould inside and outside, put some new tyres on it, get it running, tie it up and then probably sell it. Nice! So this will live on? Yes. Most likely? Hopefully. I don't scrap cars. It's very, very rare that I will scrap go. a car and I don't like breaking cars either. So. Also, you've got the, the wheels as well. You've I got, wheels, got on wheels. wheels I don't know if I'm going to put them on this or one of my other X5s, but... But they'll live on as well? Wheels. Yes. Old piece of shit moved off to an idiot. This uh, is not <laughs> a piece of shit and I am not an idiot. <laughs> no. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. With that that one gone, moved on to a new home. Let's see what Will's one looks like on its new wheels. Hello. Now that, that is this good. car done? I did a quick check while I was doing the wheels. We picked up the blue car two months and two days ago. That's how long it's taken just to get to this point. So I owe you an apology. I'm very sorry for bringing your car here and doing this to you. Although everything happens for a reason and now I have a good daily. Now you have we a daily. Hope, anyway. If you want to see where Edwin bought his dream car from Copart, you can check that out here and we will see you next week. Goodbye, X5. Good luck, good luck, Taylor. Have I never see you again? <laughs>